Cancers, this is going to be a reading for you. Today we're going to be doing predictions or we're going to be looking at the messages that come up for the next 48 hours. I like to do these, for, these forecasts, excuse me, if I can talk. I like to do these forecasts because it pinpoints the energy you guys are going to experience in the now and not so much like further into the month. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Of course, if you're new, welcome. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more of my readings. Of course, if you want a personal, because this is general, just check out the description box. Everything you need will be listed there. And thumbs the video up if you enjoy. It gets the messages to people who may be needing to see them, and it helps the channel out. So I would definitely appreciate it. But um, let's get into the message. Before we even get into pulling cards, I want to tell you what I feel for you guys for this time frame. So right off the bat, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of like mystery. And when I say that, this is you going through moments of feeling like I don't really know what's next. You may have felt like, you know, um, when it comes to progression or getting further within your career or within life, there's like this barrier that you have to break and you're trying to find exactly what that barrier is to where you guys can tap into like infinite opportunities or possibilities, I should say. Um, some of you may be struggling also with like some psychic abilities that you may not necessarily know what to do with. And it may be too much for you to bear in terms of like the downloads that you're receiving via your dreams or like throughout the day. And it may be kind of taxing, I will be honest. And this could be just the cosmos trying to connect with you in some sort of way or you trying to connect with the cosmos in some sort of way. Hmm. I'm also getting energy of like intuition. Your intuition is really going to either guide you during this time frame or you're going to be feeling things <laughs> like you may be sensing something's up with certain people because they're moving funny or you may be sensing like picking up energies. I, I will say that. Some of you are also going to be looking at your approach to things or how you kind of like perceive yourself or not how you perceive yourself, but how other people perceive you in this world. How are people looking at you? And that may be something that you're, I don't want to say concerned about, but like your body image or Like what role you feel like you play in life may be coming up. Things like that. But let me go ahead and pull some cards. Cancers. And oh, happy birthday to my cancers out there as well. Just the energy surrounding them. What possible things may come up in the next 48 hours. Seven of materials. You may be getting sick and tired of being overly patient for someone to get their act together or for something to come through. This is like waiting for either someone else's actions to come forward or to pan through because they may have promised you that, oh, they're going to commit to you one day or they're going to, you know, stop cheating or doing this. And you could be sick and tired of being patient, overly patient with someone's attitude their way of doing things, and it just may be too much. Um, others of you, it's like career-wise. You're, you're like trying to be patient. You're trying to be diligent and putting the effort and energy forth, but you feel like it may not be being recognized or like being hard on yourself. Ten of Wands. You could be letting somebody stress you out too much during this time frame. If you're like a single parent, you could be feeling kind of stressed because you're doing everything by yourself and you could be feeling like you're not getting any support from the person you may have had children with. You may be feeling like also you're carrying a lot of, of baggage or you're realizing that you're, you're still carrying that. Even after you may have thought that you dropped a lot of internal burdens, you may still be having that lingering after like trying to date and realizing that you're having a hard time opening up. 
You may get inspired. Some of you may get inspired to like start some sort of podcast or something, something to do with speaking, speaking in public, speaking your opinions in some facet. Hmm. Something with like shadow work is also coming up here. So some of you may be having to do some shadow work or something with your spiritual journey may become like pretty, pretty serious. This could be like you getting into like doing your own rituals or like magic or really getting into the occult in some, some facet. Okay. Or just spirituality. Hmm. This is also you guys having to nip in the bud, some sort of toxic temptations you guys may have. This could be tempted to contact someone all the time knowing that they're not good for you being tempted to continuously you know eat certain foods that you know aren't good for you or being tempted to still smoke cigarettes or you know smoke a lot of weed or whatever it may be this is you having to nip in the bud how your temptations may be holding you back and how they're almost controlling you in a sense or how somebody may be controlling. You may be realizing that someone's trying to control you by telling you you can't have friends. You can't have these type of people around you. Or that type of people around you. Just telling you who you can hang around. Hmm. Um, you may be also really picking up people's energy and like sensing like their aura and their intentions via their, their way of like, um, approaching you and interacting with you. Like you're, you're really going to have a strong intuition during this time frame. Uh, the way people communicate with you is going to tell you everything you need to know, especially when it comes to certain people you've already been having questions about. I'm also seeing something here about ghosts. So like if you have been seeing any type of like spirits or anything like that recently, don't be alarmed. That may be like your ancestors trying to communicate with you. I would definitely sage though if you don't want, of course, any spirits in your home or anything like that. But this is what I see. I am going to stop the reading here. I hope you took something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Check out the description box if you want a personal. And I'll see you in the next one.